What's up everybody, welcome back or to the channel. Today we got a real quick and easy modification that we're gonna be doing. And today we're gonna to be doing the CCV vent tube relocation. Now the purpose of doing this is to pretty much eliminate any excess oil from being released from the crankcase down into your intake, which is ultimately gonna pull that oil back into your turbo, which is not good for long-term use. So what we're gonna do is just pretty much cap off that tube that's coming off of the intake. We're gonna plug that, and then we're going to remove the main tube that goes from the crankcase down to that intake uh, nozzle. And then we're just gonna go ahead and replace that with an elbow tube and a vent, and that'll allow for the ventilation to occur, but it's not gonna allow any excess oil to be pulled back into your intake and thus pulled back into your turbo. Now again, this is a very low, cost modification i actually got this little kit off amazon for like 12 bucks so it shouldn't take long maybe about 10 minutes to do so let's go ahead and jump into it let me pull the truck into the garage because it's about 30 degrees outside today it's a little windy so i'd rather film inside the garage where it's a little bit more protected so let me pull the truck in we'll open up the hood and i'll show you what we're getting into let's hop in okay we're back we got the truck slightly pulled in the garage to give us a little bit of protection from the outside cold air and as you can see, I have a big mess going on, a lot of projects going on. I have the new custom grills that are in that we have to paint and have those put on here probably within the next month. It's just my schedule at work has got me very busy and I have very limited time to do a lot of these projects. So, And then today we're gonna do the CCV uh, vent tube relocation. I think today or tomorrow, I'm gonna be hooking up the wires for my amp to put the subs under the back seat. And within the next week or so, I'm gonna be Removing out the RGB rock lights. I have two in each wheel well. I'm ripping all those out, doing something else with them, and replacing them with 16 bright, bright rock lights. I'll be doing that soon. Uh, I'm going to be working on some painting projects because I'm trying to teach myself how to paint. So I have the mask. I have the actual paint gun here. Digital air regulator valve. Uh, just a bunch of stuff. So I have a bunch of projects going on. And we also had the truck undercoated last week. And I did take the time to get my train horns all cleaned up and then we'll have to rewire those back up under the truck again now that it's undercoated and those are cleaned up. So we have all kinds of projects going on this year and the weather and just overall time constraints have not been working well with me. So I'm doing my best to try to get all these projects done uh, when I actually can find time to do them. But we're going to keep things moving forward. So let's go ahead and take a look at this CCV uh, vent tube and I'll show you what we're talking about. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what we're trying to do here. Let me see if I can try to get some light in here to show you. Okay, so, and just forewarning, I am not a professional mechanic. I am not a professional electrician or anything like that. I am just a normal guy on the DIY. I'm trying to learn this stuff as I go and trying to make videos showing you what I've learned and different things that I've done that might make it easier on you. So just bear with me, okay? So during the normal combustion of the engine running, your pistons are going up and down, creating combustion for the engine to run. But sometimes the oil can actually get past the pistons and go up top into your crankcase here. Um, just because if your pistons are cold or if you have not been running your truck long enough for the pistons to kind of expand a little bit, sometimes that oil can get past the pistons and get up into here. Now under this cap is actually your CCV filter, which is enclosed, but uh, some people have actually talked about gutting the filter for a better performance. I haven't done that yet just because I'm sort of on the fence. I've heard a lot of good and bad about doing that. A lot of guys have said that they have gut their filters, say that there is oil uh, basically that gets all over the engine and, and things like that. So I don't know, I haven't done that yet, but if you wanna gut your CCV filter, you can. There's plenty of videos out there that you can watch to, to, to learn how to do it. I just haven't done it and I honestly don't even think I'm going to do it, um, but I'm not sure yet. So, but under here is your filter. So as any excess oil from the blow-by gets up into your filter, it, any excess oil will run down the tube and then it'll go right down. See where my finger's pointing right there? That tube right there. Oh, it's just real tight. So the oil is coming from here, routing down into that tube right there, which goes right into your intake, which goes right into your turbo right there. 
So you really don't want to have excess oil and sludge and dirty stuff going from up here routed down into your turbo. It's only going to destroy your turbo over time long term. So what a lot of people are doing is what's called a CCV uh, valve delete. Uh, but basically what you're doing is we're going to eliminate this hose right here that's going from here down to the intake. We're going to plug that intake and then there's a little hose that comes with the kit that's just like a little elbow, like a 90 degree elbow here with a little vent. So that way you can still vent your crankcase and let the air flow out. And then over time, if any you know, drops of oil do come up into this vent, you can always wash that off over time. But the purpose of doing this is stopping this excess oil from going down into your turbo. So this should be a fairly easy install. Let me show you what I got. This is basically what I got off Amazon. It's a very simple modification. Again, it's got your plug. It looks just like that. That's gonna go into the intake. You got some of your clamp fittings here for your hoses. Okay, like so. You have your filter, okay, which is gonna go at the top and you have your elbow. So this is that elbow that's gonna go to this filter here. So it's basically gonna end up looking like this coming out the top of your crankcase. So this will allow for ventilation and any excess oil get caught up in here in these filters and you can either wash this out later or replace it, these are very cheap. So that's basically all we're doing is we're plugging the hose at the intake, clamping everything shut, putting on this and we're done. So let's go ahead and start taking off the old hose, which is actually pretty simple. You got a pinch clip right here and then there's a pinch clip at the bottom. So this is your rubber hose here. There's a metal hose right here. There's actually a bolt right here that's holding the hose to this bracket. So just undo this bolt and this whole bracket assembly will pop right out. And then the easiest thing to do is after you undo the top clamp right here, which is this pinch clip, pull that off of there. This rubber hose meets a metal hose, which will unbolt. That metal hose will tie to that hose right there. See my fingers pointing? That hose is going right to your intake. There's a pinch clip right there. Just go ahead and pull that pinch clip and pull the metal hose out and then we'll throw our plug in right there and that should just make everything a little bit more simpler. So let me work on that and I'll be right back. Okay, so we got it out. So this is basically what it looks like. So that top rubber hose that's still attached is what's going to the top of the crankcase. This metal hose with this bracket right here at the pinky finger, that's what's mounting to that bracket holding it there. The bottom, at the bottom here, has a pinch clip that holds it to a rubber hose that goes to your intake. So all you gotta do is take this top hose off, just use the pinch clip right here, my finger, pinch it, pull it back, pull that off. Unbolt the bracket right here where my pinky finger is, unbolt that, take the pinch clip off the bottom, pop this whole assembly right off, File it to the side. Then what we're gonna do, this hose right here that I'm moving, that's the hose we're gonna put the plug in. So you can either just use a pinch clip or one of the clips that come with the kit to tighten that, that plug to that hose. And then all we gotta do is take the other hose with the filter, mount it up top, and we are done. So let me go do that and we'll be right back. Okay, we're done. So this is what we did. You got your main hose right here that has the filter on top that allows your crankcase to vent and it has the filter here to catch any excess oil. And if that ever gets clogged up or you start to see it dripping out a little bit, just take it off, wash it out. And after so long, if this gets destroyed, just replace it. These are very cheap uh, online. And then down below, I just used that plug and I actually just used the pinch clip because trying to get a screwdriver down in here around all these hoses and brackets to tighten it, uh, was a little too tight, so it was much easier just to use the pinch clip. It's in there very tight, it ain't going anywhere. So there's the plug that goes to your intake. There's your filter, and we are good to go. So now, if any excess blow-by oil gets up into the crankcase, it'll actually just get vented right to this filter, and it will not keep recirculating that oil back down into my turbo, which I do not want because it's not good for long-term use. So that's it. Okay, everybody, that is it. As you can see, that was a very quick and easy modification. Again, it only took me about 10 to 15 minutes and that's with filming this video. So it's very easy, very inexpensive. Again, it was only about $12 for this kit. 
Now, you could always take it a step further if you were going to gut out your CCV filter. If you're going to gut that, you're probably gonna end up with extra oil going to that little filter. At that point, you might wanna consider what they call a catch can, which you could just put that catch can right on that tube that's coming out the top instead of that little filter. Just put a catch can there and that'll actually catch the excess oil uh, if you're going to be gutting your CCV filter. But if you're gonna leave your CCV filter intact, this little filter is gonna work perfectly fine. So that's it. So hopefully this video helps some of you guys out. Uh, do me a favor, hit that thumbs up button, like this video. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And subscribe to the channel because it definitely helps me out. So again, I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of you. Thank you for all your support. Stay tuned because there's always new videos coming. And as always, see you in the next video.